Good afternoon. It is March 21, 2024, and it's a Thursday. And it's winter once again. I mean, although technically it's uh, it's no longer winter. Um, it is nine negative nine degrees Celsius at uh, fifteen degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, there's snow outside. It's windy. Um, a westward wind of uh, twenty eight kilometers an hour with wind gusts of forty six kilometers an hour. I brought my compost out earlier. It's very windy. I didn't. Uh, went out in my pajamas and uh, it was cold. And that's a westward wind of 17 miles per hour with wind gusts of 29 miles per hour. Um, today I'm thinking about the song Unconditional by Shannon Lay. Continue, continuing on with the theme of uh, songs that uh, make me cry. Um, when I first heard this song, I was in a bad mental state. Uh, as often happens when I get really... Uh, fixated on particular songs. I, it's one of those signs that I've learned to recognize is that when I'm really, really not doing well psychologically, I'll get super touched by like a particular song and just listen to it on repeat. Once I start listening to songs on repeat, I know that I um, am in the midst of a mental health crisis. But this song, uh, I don't want to say unfortunately, because it's just like my personal preference, but I'm a little bummed that Shannon Lay does not really have any songs that are like this one. Other songs that are like this one. She's, she's a fantastic artist. Um, really great folk music. Uh, but nothing quite like this. And this is... I've got a soft spot for uh, succinct and direct music. Like, for example, I was thinking about one of my favorite songs, Heart My Heart by Jason Molina. Which is just like probably the most direct and succinct description of depression that I've ever um, come across in in music um, so I mean this this song this song <laughs> I love this song so much it's it's a song that I have to usually listen to a few times just because it's like and it just it mm, comes and hits all these things like like the repetition of uh, you know because they'll take what they want and they'll give nothing back to you higher up at the end, and the little, when she's, I, I can't do this because I'm an awful singer, but when she sings it's true at the end and it just goes down, I like it a lot. But, um, you know, not only is it this very direct um, call to just doing whatever you can to be okay in this very, sometimes very cold and unforgiving world in life, you know, she's talking about how she, she can't escape either, you know? And I can't escape through the wind and the rain, through the nights and the days. I just do what I can to get through. Um, but also, I, I'd say what I find particularly beautiful about this song is also the choice that she has made as an artist to, to continue to make art. And this, you know, ties back to... Um, but it was talking about what I found to be so powerful with the uh, exegetic chains by the mountain goats. It might seem like, uh, I guess like, what is that called? Survivorship bias? Where like, basically if somebody like succeeds in something, they'll say like, oh, well, you know, this is just what you have to, you have to do X and Y and you'll be successful in this thing. Yeah, but there's also the possibility that most people aren't successful in that. That also applies to art, right? Where I think one could uh, criticize an artist that is calling on others to stay strong and keep making art, um, you know, to be biased if that artist has some sort of success because most artists aren't going to find that sort of success. Shannon Lay is a professional musician. Um, and, uh, She's on a record label. She tours around. I don't believe she has another job. So that is a very small, small percentage of people making art, making music are going to have that as a job. But still, you know, when she sings, if the sound's going to come, I'll deliver it to you. I will listen when it calls. 
and I will sing to you, and I'll always be singing to you, and I'll always know how I'll always know how hard it is to get through. Call it what you will, don't say no, just say you do, unconditional. I think it speaks more to a choice, unconditional. You know, she's going to keep making that art, and she's going to keep singing across the void, regardless of what happens. And that's something that I've been feeling like I've been struggling with recently, is like, this feeling of, of uh, futility in trying really hard and putting in all the effort and the hours and hours of work to put out music that isn't necessarily going to give me whatever, like, return or result that I feel like it deserves, you know? I think this is something that a lot of people struggle with. But this song is really inspirational to me because she's saying it's like, it is unconditional. She's made a choice. You know, keep me hung in a wall, keep the sound in the air, keep what you love so much, do everything you can to take what you want and to get what you needed to do your best to get through, you know, because she's trying her best. And, and, and one of the ways that she's, that she has chosen to try her best is to unconditionally make this art and to, and to keep that sound in the air. And it doesn't matter if anybody's listening to or not. It doesn't matter what the impact is it. Uh, what, what the impact is f from it. Sorry. Um, you do what you can. <laughs> because they'll take all they want and they'll give nothing back to you. It's true. Um, later on today, I'm going to go and uh, play Magic the Gathering. I'm going to go and uh, try to exchange some cards that I have that... Again, it's this like materialism thing, I guess. These cards they don't really use, but that are worth something. A couple of Nazgul's and a Witch King of Angmar. Um, so I can get some cards I'm actually going to use. Um, yesterday I received some boxes in the mail. These expensive boxes, they were like $4 each for these fucking cardboard boxes. But they are the correct size. And they have a acid-free, excuse me, cardboard to start um, organizing my collection of cards. Uh, so that they're not in the way, and it was boring, and it hurt my back to do it wasn't sitting well, but uh, it is another step, another small step towards just feeling like a human being again. Uh, later on today, I'm not going to uh, be super excited to leave the house, because it's still going to be cold. Um... Yeah, it's going to be pretty much pretty much the same thing all day, going from negative 7 degrees Celsius down to negative 5, negative 4, negative 6. Let's see here in Fahrenheit. Yeah, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, then down back to 21, down to 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's going to snow a little bit, little flurries of snow later on in the afternoon. But, uh, you know, I, I was going to say that it's not going to be anything other than cloudy. However, however, um, all week I have said this, and every single day the sun has peaked out. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day until I leave to go play Magic the Gathering. Um, I'm going to make myself something to eat. Um, I did pay off uh, my monthly payment for my debt, which I feel good about. Um, not sure, but I'm going to try to do something positive and not uh, spend my day stuck in front of my computer. Um, so here's the hoping for beautiful blue skies and golden sunshine all along the way. However, um, even even if it doesn't peak, even if the sun doesn't peak through the clouds, um, I'm still here and I'm still going to do whatever I'm able to do today to, uh, you know, to get by, to get through, and to not make the world, like, not have a net negative impact on the world. Maybe positive. I'm shooting for net neutral, but maybe net positive. In any case, Everyone, 
Have a great day.